Well, it depends on who you ask, but this is the story that I have memorized. Uh -huh. um, in 1979, there were it was a group of three to five friends, depending on who you ask. HIV had just come on the scene, uh, and people were dying. And their question was, you know, where is the church in all of this? Um, people were panicked. People were afraid. They didn't know what was going on. Um, at least one of the people was uh, theologically trained um, and we're uh, fortunate enough to have him living here in Middle Tennessee. He's kind of retired here. Um, anyway, one of these folks was in a production of uh, The Sound of Music and had access to nun outfits. So they broke in after hours put on these outfits after this discussion had gone on and went out into the streets of the Castro and the uh, response was just phenomenal. And it took off from there. And now it's a worldwide organization. The white face part was uh, added when a lot later when one of them had to be a lot more anonymous because of work didn't want to be recognized. And then over the years, that has morphed into creative drag and lots of color. I was a pastor for 10 years, and um, it's hard for me to name specific times, mm -hmm. but I know that in being a sister, I have found expression for that. Uh, just to go out into the community with a purpose of spreading joy and um, ending stigmatic guilt. That's our main thing. We talk about fundraising, we talk, talk about safer sex, but really our core mission is to spread joy and end stigmatic guilt. And there's a lot of that. People have a hard time, whatever their sexuality.